Greetings. My name is Chris Esplin, and I've spent the last 18 months working on a solution to recover Google Photos libraries. I got incredibly frustrated when I tried to use Google Takeout to recover my own 17,000 file library. It was miserable, and I lost a lot of data. So I started scheming to write a program that would make recovery easier. The first version of this software worked okay, but it relied on Google's APIs, which have some nasty limitations. I wasn't sure if anyone would want to use this first version, but I released it anyway. The response was overwhelmingly positive. I got countless emails from people desperate to recover their photos. I knew that I'd need to rewrite the application from scratch to achieve 100% data recovery. And that would be, of course, a massive project. But six months ago, I bit the bullet and started writing a web scraping application just for Google Photos. It's the only solution of which I'm aware that can recover 100% of your photos data, including dates, geolocations, and Apple Live Photos. And it runs entirely on your local desktop computer, meaning that it's fast and private. I'm calling it Quiver Photos V2, and I'm excited to announce that it's available on quiverphotos.com. So let's recover your photos. The first thing you'll need to do is navigate to quiverphotos.com and download a compatible program. If you're on a Mac M1, M2, or M3 chip, then you're on Apple Silicon. If you're on an older Mac, then you're using Intel Silicon. Most Windows users are on AMD chips, but you could be using a fancy ARM chip if you're on a new Microsoft Surface laptop. Now, download and install the application. You will likely have to bypass some security warnings. I've signed these binaries, but I do not have them notarized yet from Microsoft or Apple. That's a bit of a project, and I'm releasing this as quickly as possible. I hope to circle back and get these binaries notarized at some point. Anyway, on Mac OS, this means you'll open your system preferences, navigate to your security preferences, and enable the Quiver Photos app. On Windows, you'll click More Info and then Run Anyway. The desktop app starts by asking for your license key, but don't worry about that now. You can purchase a license key later after you've proven to yourself that Quiver Photos works for you. Click Go to Libraries and click Add Library. A dedicated Chrome profile will open up and attempt to navigate to photos.google.com. You'll need to log in with the Google account that you'd like to recover. This Chrome profile now has access to photos.google.com, so it will load your library and add a profile to the desktop app. Now click into your library in the desktop application. You'll see a photos album and a prompt to, quote, identify albums. You do not need to identify albums if you just want to recover your entire photos library. But if you do click identify albums, the application will open Chrome again and crawl through all of your albums creating records in the app so that you can crawl and download the albums individually. Let's skip identifying albums and crawl the primary photos album. Crawling an album is necessary to identify all of the media items in that album. Crawling can take a long time for larger albums, potentially well over 24 hours. The application will open a Chrome window, navigate to the album, and slowly scroll through the entire album, recording every photo and video that it sees you'll need to be patient. Every crawl starts from scratch. It's perfectly fine to recrawl an album multiple times, especially if you've added more photos or if the original crawl got interrupted somehow. If you do not yet have a license, then your albums will be limited to about a thousand items in a crawl. I recommend crawling and downloading your first thousand images before buying a license. You can buy the license on quiverphotos.com. You'll need to copy paste your user ID into the desktop app. The desktop app will then verify your license with the user ID, and you can begin to crawl for your entire library. This license comes with a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Email me for a refund for any reason. I would much rather return your money than have unsatisfied users. I will also be your personal troubleshooting expert, so do not hesitate to email me at chris at quiverphotos.com. Okay. Once the crawl is complete, check the crawled count to make sure that it matches the album count. Remember, it will be capped at around 1,000 items if you're testing without a license. Checking album item counts is easy to do for individual albums on photos.google.com, 
Validating your item count on your primary photos album requires opening Gmail on your iOS or Android device, composing a new email, and attaching a file from Google Photos. This is the only known way to discover the true number of photos in your library. I would now recommend clicking the View button to quickly review the crawled items. Click the buttons or use your command and arrow keys to flip through the relevant pages. Once you're satisfied that your crawl is complete, navigate back to your main library page and select a folder to download to. This folder can be on a network storage device, a local hard drive, or USB drive. Now click Download. This is the fun part. Depending on the size of your library, this can take a few minutes or many days. I recommend walking away from the computer at this point. It's going to open another Chrome window and start downloading five files at a time. If your library is large enough, it's almost guaranteed that your downloads will start to fail. It's unclear why this is happening. It could be Google Photos blocking such a fast series of requests. It could be that Chrome loses connection with the desktop app at some random interval. Regardless, you'll see a warning pop up if there are any failures. You can ignore this warning. You can literally let it sit there untouched. The download process will, will restart every time it fails, which means it will rescan for all existing downloads and begin downloading missing files from the beginning. This should continue until your entire library has been downloaded. You can also pause, stop, and restart downloads at will. The download process is always incremental. It will not download a file that is already in your target folder. I personally like to back up my files to a network attached storage device, also known as a NAS. I crawl and download my primary photos library every few months. You might want to run it more often than that, but it's a bit time consuming to run weekly or even monthly. Let me know how this goes. I'm always available via email and I'm committed to making Quiver Photos work for everyone.